Hey y'all, it's Tammy with Collard Valley Cooks. Today we are going to use our extra turkey and we're going to make a turkey pot pie. Then I'm going to turn around and make chicken and dumplings later today live. So y'all are going to see me in the kitchen quite a bit today. Um, right now we have simmered, we've sauteed some um, onions, green onions. Chris, you can show them the pot please. And uh, I've made a gravy. We're going to go ahead and put together one of the pot, pot pies. Then I'm going to turn around and make one from scratch and let y'all watch me do it, okay? So y'all can see um, the whole process. Now, what we're going to do with this is we're going to pour it in a bowl over here. Baby, I need the... <laughs> My cameraman! So, let me just get a couple of things. And we're going to transfer to the other side. We're going to do the turkey pot pie first, and then we're going to start the chicken pot pie. So, in this bowl, we're going to put this nice gravy we made. And you don't want it to be real thick. And I don't want to sit this. Here, I'll sit it right here on this. All right. So, now, this is our turkey. We had a smoked turkey this year. And we had a little extra turkey. And this is all we had left. Because we did send some home with people. Um, so, we're going to start out adding this turkey to my gravy. Now, the gravy has some green onion in it, the salt and pepper, and let me put this in the sink. Now, we're going to take a can. Yes, we're using a can. We are all wore out from Thanksgiving, and we're going to put a can of veg all in it. This is an easy recipe, and it's so delicious because you make the homemade gravy. Let me wash my hands. So we're doing one turkey pot pie. We're going to do one chicken pot pie. And then later this afternoon, we'll do a uh, chicken and dumpling video. Yep. So here's our chicken we're going to make with the chicken pot pie. One side set up for chicken and one side set up for turkey. Now, I'm going to take half of this stick of butter and put in here and mix it up as well. Let's go ahead and kind of break it up a little bit. And I'm going to show y'all how I made the gravy. Just stay tuned. I just thought I would go ahead and put one together right quick. I take frozen, not frozen, I take refrigerated pie dough and I roll it out in the bottom of my round casserole dish like this. And you let these things cook at least an hour because you want this to get nice and brown and crunchy on the bottom just like it will on the top, okay? Now we're going to mix this up and let that butter melt in here. If you like a lot of pepper, add pepper, more pepper to it. I'm going to add some pepper in it. I think chicken and dumplings and anything with chicken in it is so much better with a good bit of black pepper. Always taste the, um, there's nothing in here that's going to hurt you, so go ahead and taste it. There's a big piece of turkey. You might want to cut that puppy up. I don't know. We'll leave it in there. Somebody will get lucky, won't they? So we're going to add a little pepper to it. Then I'm going to get a spoon and make sure I got it salty enough, okay? And we're going to a function for church. That's where we're making two of these. We're making two of these and chicken and dumplings, so y'all get to see how I'm using my leftovers. Gonna taste this and make sure it's salty enough since it's homemade gravy. No, needs salt. Needs a lot of salt. Now I we'll have to taste it again. So, hope 
y'all had a wonderful Thanksgiving. We did here. That smoked turkey is amazing. This year we injected our turkey with butter and spices. We don't use the thing that comes with the injector. We actually just melt butter. I put a little poultry seasoning in it, two different brands. That's plenty salty now. All right, we're gonna pour this into our casserole dish. bowl right here to mix up our next one. Now we're going to roll out this crust. For this crust, you want it to have a few slits in the top. It's easier to do it while it's just laying down on the counter than this one's want to hang on to the other side. You little turkey. I don't ever buy this brand. This is store brand at Food Depot. So now we already got a hole in it. That's mm -hmm. fine. The pretty one's on the bottom one. Yeah, we're gonna use this. Just put a few slits in the top of your pie crust. Pull it apart a little. Lay it on there. Don't fold the uh, dough onto itself. Just let it curl up a little around the top. That one's ready. Now we're going to start the next one. I'm going to show you how fast this is. Y'all ready? Let's get over here. First thing we do is we take four green onion, make sure they're clean, and you've got out the outer layer. I always throw it off. You know, peel it off, in other words, and get rid of it. And then I chop the very brown parts of the tops up as well. Now what we're doing is we're just chopping up this onion because we're going to saute it when we make our gravy. There we go. So we're gonna come over here. And in this iron skillet, I'm gonna turn it on high for a second. And we're gonna add about a third cup of shortening. Now, if y'all want to, you can use butter, but I put a half a stick in it when it's in the bowl, so it gets both when I make it. A lot of people think I'm crazy for cooking with shortening, and they're like, oh, I've never seen anybody make a shortening gravy, and I'm like, that's all my parents ever used. That's all my granny ever used. They use shortening all the time, and it's delicious if you brown your uh, flour. It's the flour that gives it the flavor that you want. Of course, butter does too, but like I said, we're putting a half stick of butter in this after the gravy's done, okay? And that's the chicken we're going to use for the chicken and dumplings later. Now we're going to add our onion. All right, you're, you're going to have two cups of water and two cups of milk to do this gravy with. It'll fill up that casserole dish, okay? So, that's a third cup of um, shortening or butter, whatever you want to use. If you use all butter, you're going to have so much butter in it. It'll be good. But... And then, I add a little salt. This time I'm going to add more. Now, if you want to, you can use chicken stock. I didn't have any. I'm making some stock today, but it's going to be for our chicken and dumplings in a little while, okay? So these are just getting a gravy. And you can use a little bouillon if you want to. I think I'll throw some in this one. I didn't do it to the turkey one, but we'll add a little bouillon to this chicken one. Why not? teaspoons in it. And remember that I add salt as well. Now we're just letting these saute a minute before we start our gravy. I'm going to put my salt pepper back on the table. 
table. And we could cut up our chicken while we're waiting on those dishes to get a little bit softer. This is my chicken that I had left over. It's got some good broth in it already, you can see. We roasted a chicken the other day in our new oven. It has a rotisserie. You might want to come around on this side so you can see what I'm doing. Um, our new oven is a rotisserie and we tried it before we, we, we wanted to do that before we videoed and I'm glad we did because it was a learning process. Figure out really how to do it right. Chop your chicken up pretty good. I did this while ago. I gotta go. I've gotta rinse this off my hands. Okay. Oh, that's my flower. Did I put it back up there? We'll get there in a minute, y'all. Put in about a third cup of flour at least. A third to a half cup. Them onions are going to be like french fried onions. They actually smell good. <laughs> Everybody likes them in green bean casserole like that. That's what they smell like. Now you're going to let your flour brown so that it get, it's not still raw and it has a good flavor. And then we're going to add our liquid and thicken it. I'm going to turn it back up on high. This is a three inch deep skillet. It's wonderful. Holds a lot. I like to fry chicken in it and I like to make gravy in it when I'm making a lot of gravy like I'm doing today. Because gravy rises when it boils up and starts to thicken and if I were to put this much gravy in a regular iron skillet, it would boil over the top. Now you're starting to see it brown a little bit around the edges, but I want it to get pretty, pretty brown before we put in our liquid. You just gotta wait a minute on it. So, um, this is just a great way to use your leftover turkey because everybody gets so tired of turkey sandwiches. Chris has already ate two, okay? So you can make a delicious chicken pot pie with your turkey and it is very good if you do it this way. It's still easy. All you're doing is making a gravy and then you're using the canned veggies. If you want to use frozen veggies, if you just don't like canned veggies, make sure you boil them on the stovetop first because they never get good and soft and done in the oven. I'm gonna add our liquid. And now we're gonna bring it to a boil and it's gonna thicken. And then we'll add it over there to our bowl. This one will actually taste better because I put the bouillon in there. It'll taste better than the turkey one. Well, the turkey one's going to have a smoke flavor too. Let's see. The, the turkey has more flavor than the chicken. Just the meat. It's still delicious. Yummy. <clears throat> that onion ain't taste so good. We don't typically put onion in these. But everybody that will be eating tonight is an adult, so I added the onion. The onion's not in my original recipe in my cookbooks because my kids just like it plain. But since we're making these for adults, I wanted to add a little onion at least. It's an adult pot pie. It's an adult pot pie. Mm -hmm. Yep, we'll be on about 3.30 doing the dumplings. And right now we're just boiling this chicken. Let me turn her up. Um, I like to simmer my chicken for at least an hour to an hour and a half. And then I pick, um, I'll sit her out on a plate and I pick the meat off of her. I leave that broth in there. I strain those veggies off. And then we drop the dumplings, okay? We'll be doing that later today at 3.30 live here on YouTube. And we can show you the finished uh, pot pie too. Yeah, it should be coming out of the oven about the time we start our dumplings. Because it's right about an hour from now. It's going to be perfect timing. 
this is about to start getting thick. Now I'm going to let you see how much it would rise if I didn't um, stir it. It can, it'll rise almost to the very top if I let it. These iron skillets are available on our website, on, and all of our links go through Amazon, but we still get a very small portion. And so if you want to support our show, you can uh, buy your products through Amazon through our links. And you don't have to buy even what's on the link as long as you enter through a link. You still have to support us. And every little penny adds up. Now it's time to start buying for Christmas and getting yourself some kitchen fun things in the kitchen. Look at that. Looks beautiful. Beautiful. All right. So this is really thick enough. So we're going to turn it off. If I kept letting that boil, it would raise. I just don't. There ain't no need to unless y'all just want to see it. Uh, I'm going to grab my stuff over here. We're going to pour it into our bowl. And yes, our bowl's dirty because we just made another chicken pot pie. And I'm not going to go over there and rinse it out. So here we go. This is our chicken gravy that I used the onion and the broth in. Okay. One turkey, one chicken. Yep. Let me move this. Great. Okay. So, all we have to do is put in our chicken. This is a lot of chicken. I don't think I can use it all. We need to rest on them sandwich or something. Yeah, and then the rest of our butter, so we'll cut it up in little pieces and put it in here. So all you butter lovers, there you go. We're going to melt this butter up a little bit, and then we're going to add our veggies. Mmm, that smells so good. I'm going to go ahead and taste this one. Plenty of salt and delicious. I'm going to put these in there. We're going to mix it up. And this is an easy way to use your leftover turkey or chicken if you roasted a chicken this Thanksgiving. So, and it's so delicious. Way better than just a turkey sandwich, right? So, here's our casserole dish. We have two pie crusts from the store. So, just buy one box. Make sure they're at room temperature enough that you can pull them apart. This one goes in the bottom. Y'all share this with your friends so they'll know what to do with their leftovers. Get this in here. Look at that butter going in. Yum. That'll feed a lot of people right there, too. We're going to a potty, y'all. All right, here's our other pie crust. We're going to open it up. Well, for heaven's sakes. Both of the ones I want to put on the top, I mess up. All right, we're going to put a couple of slits in these. I'll use this. Just put your sides in here. If you put it in a 13 by 9, it fits. And you can do that too. Okay? I just like them in the round dishes because they're nice and deep. Okay? So we've got one chicken and one turkey. Okay? The oven's set on 350 degrees. And we're going to bake these an hour. And what you need to do is bake them at 350 for 30 minutes, then raise it to 400 for 30 minutes, and that way they'll get good and brown, okay? So right now they're at 350. I'm going to set the timer for 30 minutes, and that way they'll be good and brown. 
by the time we come back at 3 30 we'll take them out of the oven and let you see them and we're going to start doing our dumplings so if you're watching this in the future you can watch our uh, chicken and dumpling live and see the end of the turkey pot pie or see the result yes. i know a lot of y'all get frustrated with my lives but lives are live and so sometimes i don't have everything laid out and sometimes you don't i mean if something's got to cook you got to wait on it so that's just part of going live but i wanted you guys to see what we're doing today and since dumplings are instant gratification you're going to get to see the end result anyway on those and now you're going to get to see these pot pies come out of the oven so we'll see you guys at 3 30 on colored valley cooks thanks for watching colored valley cooks where we cook like mama did